this is a Stanley Steamer, I would judge from the teens. And Stanley Steamer and the White Steamer uh, were competitors to the uh, gas-driven vehicles of the time. But I think the idea that the uh, boiler with live steam was a bit unsettling to people. I think they were afraid the boiler would blow up. However, perhaps they didn't realize how dangerous gas could be. At least the fumes uh, <laughs> could explode also. So it uh, it lost favor, and uh, this was a huge car, as you can see. These cars of the period were very large, very top heavy. That's a container either for the uh, ignition source fuel or else for the water. I'm not sure which. This top is a mammoth thing. I certainly would hate to try to have to put that up manually. But there were no power tops back in those days. All cars essentially, uh, well, at least most of them, were open cars, so all of them dealt with tops. This evidently sees service as a tour vehicle here in Florida. And you can see there's a pressure steam pressure gauge. Essentially, this is just like a uh, uh, like a locomotive on wheels, as far as uh, steam mechanics go.